So this is the DG adapter that I installed my FPV goggles. By installing this DG adapter to my FPV goggles, it makes these goggles the best analog goggles on the market right now. This DG adapter is very different from this other module that I have. This is the I think UR UAV uh, fake shark modules for the DJI FPV goggles. So you put it on the side. This one, it helps to make the DJI FPV goggles to use analog, but, but it is not as um, streamlined as this uh, DJ adapter, so it doesn't make this goggles feel like uh, this is a full goggles. Instead, this is like an add-on, so this is not as good as the DJ adapter. You can see the difference if you don't have a DJ adapter here. You only have the modules. It doesn't feel like it's part of the goggles, but the DJ adapter makes this seamless and uh, very streamlined and very low profile. Although it adds on a bit of weight, but it still makes this looks really really good and makes this looks more integrated and also the best FPV goggles analog on the market. The only thing that you need to be aware of is that this splitter, the power goes through here and then it goes through the TGI FPV goggles. But if you don't use the um, this uh, analog module, if you switch this on, this one also turns on, this one also turns on. So I think the best thing to do is to uh, unplug this. If you don't use the module, so that this one doesn't uh, receive any signals and doesn't interfere with the DJI goggles. So the bad thing about this is that you have to unplug this every time if you don't use this. Um, they should have put a switch here so that you don't have to unplug this every time. So like I mentioned earlier, this one is the best and a lot of FPV goggles on the market with the DG adapter faceplate on it. Uh, provided um, you need an analog module for your goggles. Otherwise, it all depends on you whether you want to get into an uh, analog FPV. So anyway, this is very easy to install and very easy to use and this one is fixed very tightly on the um, faceplate so you can see the installation video after this part and um, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just remember quadcopter is not rocket science see you next time So this uh, PDI analog face plate is very easy to install. Basically what you need to do is just take out these two screws of the original face plate on your DJI goggles. Then you put this um, PDI face plate on your goggles and then use the supply longer screws and then you put it in. And so here I'm taking off one of the screws on the side. So after you take off the two screws, you just basically 
lift up the uh, original plate and you expose the inside and now what you do is you put this one on then use the supply screw then you screw them back on so you can see that the supply screw is about maybe twice longer than the original screw so the face plate is a bit longer so the original one is metal this is plastic so i suggest that you put the um, screw on first on the face plate to make it much easier to screw it on the uh, goggles and this is the um, AV cable just connect here to the input here and the power cable should be this way because this is a longer bit So I'm going to install my rapid fire in this. So let's test it. My battery and my battery lead, and then maybe turn it on. One of the other reasons that I bought this was because um, I wanted a low profile antenna and very lightweight antenna uh, for my DG adapter with this um, immersion RC rapidifier. This is to reduce the weight um, on the goggles. So as I said, this only adds on to about uh, 14 grams to the uh, goggles. But if you use the other ones, and they add up to about 34 grams. So that's a significant reduction in weight 